What's so important about the grip? The grip helps the entire swing. It's a big key to good timing. Good timing translates into power and accuracy. Shh, wait. This, this is it. Look, look here, Luke. It says the club should sit across the roots of the last two fingers and underneath the bottom pad of the hand. You should be able to hold the golf club with the little finger on the bottom pad of the hand. What else does it say? Most top players use what's called the neutral grip. That means the crease between your finger and your thumb points just inside your right shoulder. The top players in the world are meticulous with this club head, glove hand position. You want to see the bottom edge straight up in the air or a hair left of center and see this inside the right shoulder. This is like aiming your sights. An additional check to the neutral position. When you stand over the ball, you want to see the first two knuckles of the left hand. This is like spring loading the hand. This helps the club return back square behind the ball at impact. Do some players choke down on the club? Yeah, general rule is that you want to choke down enough so you see the butt of the club. <clears throat> This helps the grip stay firm, so you can hit the ball more solidly. Thank you. So how tight should I hold the club? It's recommended with your glove hand that you hold a golf club with 85% of your gripping power. Too tight causes tension, and too loose would cause slipping. Also practice with the same grip pressure throughout the golf swing. Holding medium firm helps your control and power. You can try this at home. Drop a golf ball on cement and then drop one in the grass. You see the ball bounces more off of something solid. Holding firm helps you so the ball bounces off the solid club face. Also, most pros wear a golf glove. A golf glove will act as adhesion between the grip on your club and your hand. It helps you to hold on better and is a reminder which hand is the major gripper. Thanks, Sam. That's priceless information. Luke, when you put the right hand on the golf club, you want the palm to face the target and then gently wrap the fingers. When you open up your right hand and extend the fingers, you want the palm to face the target. The golf club should sit in the first crease away from the root of the fingers. So it's a little bit more in the fingers with the right hand. Give me a golf ball, I'll show you. There you go. If you take a golf ball and you take it back as if you're going to throw it, you see how it sets in the fingers? Yeah. Okay, now watch when I hold the golf club. I take it up there, take my glove away, and look, it's like I'm holding the ball. Okay? Now, when you put the right hand on, you want the little finger to lay over the index finger of your glove. This helps the two hands be closer together so the two hands can act as one unit. The result is more club head speed, which equals more distance. Hold a Twinkie. How tight should I hold the club with my right hand? Very gently, Luke. Old pros give many examples. I'll give you six clues. If I hold a ball in my right hand, if I take it back, I want to hold so gentle that I can rock my wrist back and forth and not drop the ball. If you hold too tight, you lock up the wrist. That's going to be bad for your golf swing. Also, Sam Sneed says when you put your right hand on a golf club, think you're holding a bird. You don't want to hurt the bird, but you don't want the bird to get away. Or you're holding a child's arm. Very gentle. You don't want to hurt the child, but you don't want them to run across the street. Or you're holding a Twinkie. You don't want to squeeze out the filling. No. Squeezing out the filling would be a rookie mistake. Or you're holding a wine glass for adults. Everything is oh so delicate. And finally, the little finger on the right hand lays over the index finger on the left. So gentle, it's like a butterfly resting on a leaf. Why so gentle? A light grip with the right hand allows the club to fly faster, increase club head speed, 
increase your distance. Wow, this is gonna taste good. <laughs> By going to the golf course and swinging through enough golf balls, you're gonna discover the exact grip pressure that works the best for you. Now, let's go to the golf course and test this grip. Let's go. 